Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you my favorite thing to work on. It's the best. And that, of course, is the McCall Mini Mac. It's simplistic design and minimalist work allows you to get into those precise cuts that you need for any job, big or small. And it's compact design makes it so easy to work on. You can clean the carburetor on this and it'll last forever. It is a, one of the greatest saws ever made. But on another note, can someone tell me why when you type in on Google, who invented the chainsaw, Robert McCall pops up? According to my research, Robert McCall didn't get into chainsaws until 1948. However, though, the first ever chainsaw, which was made for assisting in childbirth, because hitting a pelvis with a hammer and a chisel caused splintering. So someone had to make something that could make better cuts, which was invented in 1830 by Bernard Hines. And it looked like this. Now, I was doing some more research. I'm like, okay, well, let's talk about woodworking, which we'll use chainsaws for today. Obviously, we're not cutting in anymore, you know, with our modern science. And it turns out in 1926, Samuel Ben invented and patented the first endless electric chainsaw, which was given to Steel, Andreas Steel, to start producing it. So Steel actually made the first ever chainsaw. But it was an ungodly 116 pound two man chainsaw, but it was used for the woodworking. It wasn't until 1946, still before Robert McCall got into chainsaws, Homelite, the per, uh, Homelite Corporation, the one who made the first ever portable generator too, made the first ever one man did, one, one man chainsaw. So why is it still that Robert McCall is taking credit for all these other people who invented the chainsaw? Steel also produced the first ever anti-vibration handle on a chainsaw. And yes, I understand, you know, Homelite right now is a throwaway brand, you know, but they're the ones who made the first ever handheld one. Someone back in 1800s invented the first crank one and the first ever gas powered electric or gas powered electric one was made by Steel and Samuel. So why is McCall taking all the credit? That's my question for you guys today. Maybe if someone could tell me why, do a little more research, I looked into it. But there you go, guys. A quick little brief history about chainsaws and my favorite tool to work on. Thank you guys so much for watching. I gotta do some work so I get paid. But other than that, guys, have a great day.